Well, opening thoughts are we've got a lot of videotape to watch. Uh, we've got some execution things that we, without question, need to clean up both defensively and offensively. But the great thing about it is, is I felt like after a slow first quarter, I thought we really took control of the game on, on both ends of the floor. Uh, I think that happened on Friday night also. So we've now established a little bit of a trend of starting slow. So we now have to identify how to get ourselves ready uh, when the ball goes up. But I thought our defense got better and better as the game went on. What sort of adjustments do you make to try to overcome that slow start? Well, I think our I asked the players about that in the locker room, and I think they have to individually, I think they have to find how to get themselves in the right spot for the game. Whether it's, most of them will say, well, I like listening to music. Well, but if you're listening to music, are you really ready to play? It's a good relaxation thing, but do you need to study your playbook? Do you need to go back over the game film and look at your opponent's tendencies? What's going to allow you to be really focused uh, when the ball goes in the air? Our rotations were good in the first quarter. We were just late, so we weren't recognizing things early enough and attacking those situations um, to make them come out in our favor. Uh, big game from Brianna Wright. Uh, a lot of good outlet passes and steals, starting some fast breaks. What did you see from her? I, I just I just see a kid that's really growing in confidence. She's worked on her game. Um, she's become very proficient at a little right hand hook, little left hand hook. She occasionally still goes back to a bad habit fade away, but she's just confident right now. She understands what she's supposed to do. She also understands that our team likes to throw her the basketball. I thought she did a very nice job today in a couple quick double teams that came at her. She did a very nice job of finding the weak side out pass. Um, one to Mariah Rouser for a wide open three. So she's, um, she's just becoming a force and we need her to do that every night. But I think Cheyenne Creighton had probably as good a night as, as Brianna did and now that's two games in a row. Cheyenne again is a confidence kid and um, the more they can play that way, I think the, the more confident they'll continue to become. Some more high scoring from Ariel, uh, bouncing back from the other night. What did you see from her? Well, Ariel, I think, uh, was pressing a little bit the other night. She was frustrated. She is so used to scoring through contact when she's going to the rim. She hasn't been able to do that. So her scoring has come later in games. But she got a couple open three looks. She's worked so hard on her three-point shooting. And, and that one's pretty much automatic right now. So I thought she did a very nice job of controlling the game against a pretty intense amount of amount of pressure, but Ariel's our emotional leader and she's our floor general and um, we also need her to be a scorer, which she, she has been able to do in the second half. And looking ahead to Kansas, first road test of the season, what are you telling the team to get ready for, for the Jayhawks? Well, first thing I told them was eat well, sleep well, and wash your hands a lot because there's, there's a lot of sickness going around, but we just need to be really well rested and we need to be well drilled. Kansas will be a quality team. They have a new coach. They will play very, very hard. Obviously, we know we're going against a Big 12 opponent with Big 12 looking type athletes and um, size. So we're going to have to really shore some things up. We talked a lot about how a slow start could really doom you um, against a team like Kansas. So we're going to work on that a lot this week. But we're, we're going to Lawrence um, with good thoughts in our head and, and we need to play well um, as we do every game. But that's a game that we're really looking forward to.